In this video, we will learn to remove left recursion from our context-free grammar with multiple examples. But before that, what is left recursion and why we want to remove it? So consider this prediction, which is A goes to A alpha or beta. Here, a goes to itself. So A is calling itself like a recursive function. And this call is on the left side of this prediction. So this is the left recursion. And it is problematic for the top down parsing. For the bottom up parsing, left recursion is not a problem. So we know that there is a kind of parsing called top down parsing in top down parsing we start from the start symbol of the context free grammar and try to drive towards the input string so in such a parsing technique left recursion leads to infinite loop So a grammar that has left recursion must not be used with the top-down parsing. However, it is not that difficult to remove left recursion and make that grammar suitable for top-down parsing. That is the subject of this video. So how to remove this left recursion? To that end, I can write the formula here. But first of all, I forget that formula myself multiple times. But I have to think for 10 seconds to write that formula. So let's think together and then we will write that formula. So here is our thinking. First consider the kind of strings produced by this grammar. Using this protection from A, I can drive to beta, where beta is sequence of terminals and non-terminals. Now using the above prediction, I can go from A to A alpha and then I can replace this A again with A alpha. So this will become A alpha alpha where I have replaced this A with A alpha. And similarly, I can continue for a long time getting the string a and many alphas. Finally, I have to replace the string with beta. So at the end, I will get beta followed by a bunch of alphas. Now if I combine these two, then my end result is that the kind of strings I produce with this context-free grammar are beta followed by zero or more alpha. The reason we could have zero alphas is because of this string. This string has only beta and no alphas. And this string has multiple alphas. So the kind of strings this grammar produce are beta followed by zero and more alphas. Now, after establishing this, I can easily write another context-free grammar that will produce the same set of strings, but have no left recursion. That grammar will have right recursion, but right recursion is fine. Our top down parsing works fine with right recursion. It has a problem with only left recursion. So this could transform to A. Now we are focusing on this string goes to beta. And now we have to write a protection that can produce multiple alphas. To that end, we introduce a new non-terminal, A bar. And now A bar goes to, now we can't have here left recursion, but right recursion is okay. So to create a loop that can produce multiple alphas, we write alpha A bar. One case is missing that 
a bar could be empty string because we have zero or more alphas. So we write here empty string. So this is the formula to remove left recursion given this context free grammar. This formula can be extended to chain of protections. Instead of one alpha, we could have multiple alphas in that chain. Instead of one beta, we could have multiple betas in that chain. So here is a new context-free grammar that has left recursion. A alpha one or A alpha two and dot 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 to A alpha n. And then A goes to beta one or beta two dot 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 or beta n where m and n could be same could be different and can take any values from integers so how to remove left recursion from these protections we just have to extend this same rule to that context free grammar so what we do here we write a goes to beta 1 a bar same rule that we have used here or beta 2 a bar dot 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 or beta m a bar exactly the same and now we have to apply this rule that means we say a bar goes to alpha 1 a bar alpha 2 a bar or dot 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 alpha n a bar but don't forget to write the empty string so also a bar goes to epsilon another aspect of left recursion is that left recursion could be indirect that means here we have a goes to a but we could have a goes to b and then b goes to c and c goes to a this is indirect left recursion how to remove that left recursion to that end let me write an example here and then we will solve that example together i will explain what to do first that means to remove uh, indirect recursion and then afterward we will remove direct recursion so let me clear the board and then i will write that example so here is our example context free grammar and with this example we are also given that the start symbol is q so the first step to remove left recursion is to rewrite this grammar so that the first protections are of the star symbol and then we write the protections which are used by the star symbol and so on so we write protections in terms of their dependencies so let's rearrange this grammar so step one is that we arrange this grammar in terms of dependencies so first we write the protections of star symbol which is q so q goes to q e d or q now because the star symbol use non terminals e and d so next we will write protections of e and d so protections of e or e goes to e or epsilon and production of d are that d goes to n f a or d so we have written protections of q e d now we will write protections of n f and a in this order so next production will be n so n goes to d f a or n we write protections of f f goes to f 
we write predictions of a, so a goes to small a. And that's it. We have rearranged our grammar in terms of dependencies. This is a simplified case. We might have to make a dependency graph, but for the time being, this is okay. Now, the step two is that we ignore direct left recursion, we try to eliminate indirect left recursion. So in step two, we eliminate indirect left recursion. So we don't have any indirect left recursion in Q because Q is used here. This is only a direct left recursion. Now from E, you can go to small e, so there could not be any indirect left recursion here. From D, we go to N, F, A. From N, we go to D. So there is an indirect left recursion because from D, we go to N and from N, we go to D. So this is our indirect left recursion and we have to remove it by substituting N in D. So, I write rest of the terms as it is, but I remove this indirect left recursion, making it direct recursion. So, let's write rest of the production as it is first. Now, here I write D goes to, in place of N, I will first write this production of n and then in place of n I will write this production of n. I will have d goes to dfa, I have written dfa in place of n and then fa. Now I will write n in place of this n. So r small n fa and I will write this d as it is. So or D. Now notice that N is not reachable from the star symbol anymore because from D we cannot go to N and we cannot go to N by any other means. So we don't have to write N anymore because it is now unreachable. So let's don't write N and then we will get F goes to small f and A goes to A. So that's it. So this is our new context-free grammar where we don't have any indirect left recursion. We only have direct left recursion. So the last step is to remove direct recursion. So step number three is remove direct recursion. Let's first just rewrite the formula to remove direct recursion. So our formula to remove direct recursion was that if we have a goes to a alpha or beta, then we replace it with a goes to beta a bar and a bar goes to alpha a bar or epsilon. So we will be using this formula to remove our direct recursion. So we apply this formula here. Let's first identify what is our alpha and what is our beta. In this case, ED makes my alpha and Q is my beta. Now, as we know that this is our alpha and this is our beta, we can simply apply this rule on these productions. So I will write that Q goes to beta, which is small q, q bar, and q bar goes to alpha, which is ED, q bar, or epsilon. I'm done with 
removing left recursion from these productions. These productions have no left recursion, so I will write them as it is. Now, these productions have left recursion. Here, this is my alpha, and I have two betas. So, this will be my beta 1, and this will be my beta 2. So, I will rewrite this production as d goes to beta 1 d bar or beta 2 d bar and d goes to alpha which is f a f a this is d bar d bar or epsilon i have removed my direct left recursion from these productions also Finally, I have to rewrite those productions as it is, as they don't have any left recursion. So, I will have here f goes to small f and a goes to small a. And that's it. So, I have written my context-free grammar without any kind of left recursion. I have removed both indirect and direct left recursion. So, I will repeat the three steps that we have to use to eliminate the left recursion. Firstly, we have to rearrange our context-free grammar in terms of dependencies of productions. Second, we have to ignore the direct left recursion but eliminate the indirect left recursion by substitution. And the third step is that now our grammar has no indirect left recursion but only direct recursion so we will remove all the direct recursion using this simple formula so that's it i hope that you are able to understand this video clearly and now you can remove left recursion in any kind of grammar if you still have some questions then please ask those questions for me see you in the next video bye